Hi everyone, welcome back to Coffee Talk. This is going to be the final episode in this series, so I really hope you've enjoyed the story so far. I'm sorry it's been so long since the last episode, but thank you all so much for being so patient. I know you've been waiting for a long time already for the final episode, so let's get back into the story. Okay, so here we are with the Evening Whispers. Police raid on Private Calcella after party is biggest drug and sex related bust of the year. Oh my goodness, it's a good thing Rachel didn't go to that in the end. Fight broke out during Couchella, culprits in police custody, and despite the arrest, Couchella will go on. Wow, seems like there was a lot of drama at that event. Hopefully Rachel has been able to stay out of it all. I think she probably is smart enough to stay out of it, especially with everything going on with her dad, so okay. Welcome. Hey Pop. Good evening everyone. Everyone safe and sound tonight? So far so good, officer. With the cop who's supposed to be watching this area hanging out in a coffee shop? I'm not so sure about that. Hey, I'm working right now. I just love multitasking, you know? That requires skill. Taking a break and working at the same time, you mean? You know it. That's an oxymoron. That's why I said it requires skill. Anyway, Lulu, I really need an espresso to keep me awake tonight. Espresso it is. Easy peasy. It's been a while since you've seen Georgie. So it's nice to see him again. Here you go. An energetic espresso to keep our officer uptight on patrol. <laughs> you and your sense of humour. Your espressos are always out of this world. Definitely better than mine or my wife's. It's not a competition, officer. It is for her. She thought she could make a better one. I'd stop coming to this place so often. That's not happening anytime soon. So, anything special today? Surprisingly, no. Gotta make sure this place is safe, though. What are you grinning about? I mean it. You were here the last two days, right? Yes, I was and some crazy things happened here. And two days in a row, as if the gods were trying to give me first-hand experience to use in my story. Still fretting over your story, eh? Well, the deadline for my draft is getting nearer. Oh yeah, how's it going? Quantity-wise, it's shaping up pretty well. Quality-wise? Honestly, I'm pretty confident. Best of luck then. Do you have any updates about the last two days of chaos? For the werewolf case, I spoke to Gala about it. What? Are you going to arrest him? Some officers were talking about it, but in the end, we agreed not to do it, because he really helped a lot that night. We asked the folks in the hospital, and some other people in the area. Without him, we'd have a lot more problems. He helped a lot, getting most of the werewolves safe in the hospital. Too bad he couldn't lock himself up in time. Thankfully, he didn't hurt anyone, so those who'd rather detain him can't do anything anyway. Phew. I'd be pretty mad at you if they did arrest him. Hey, being mad at me wouldn't solve anything. I know. What about Rachel's dad? Any idea what happened? I'm not too sure myself. Most of it didn't happen around here. What? Yeah, it seems like it happened out near Calcella. That's a long way away. I mean, it's not actually that far, but he wouldn't be able to walk it. Not in that state. So far, that's all I know. Oh, Rachel's here. Rachel, is Mr. Hendry all right? Before that, could I have a cup of hot chocolate? Dark, dark hot chocolate? I don't know if you've ever made that before. Let me see, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Okay, we made it. Ooh, that looks really lovely. Your hot chocolate's ready. Thank you. Dad's going to be fine. He woke up this afternoon, thanks to Mr. Gala. He got help fast enough to stop things getting worse. He's doing okay then? It'll take a few days before he fully recovers. But no permanent injuries we need to worry about. That's good to hear. I know. But still, it's all because of me. Because I didn't listen to him. And all he wanted to do was protect me. Rachel, don't blame yourself for this. Please don't take offence. But is it okay for you to leave your father alone in the hospital? His friends are there at the moment, and I can't face being stuck in a room with a bunch of people I don't even know right now. Besides, I really need to get away for a bit, so I told Dad I'm going to visit Coffee Talk to get some fresh air. He's okay with that? He understands. He always does, I guess. Miss Rachel, what really happened last night? Dad got into a fight with some bugs. He heard them talking about me in some very suggestive, perverted ways. Oh. He didn't like that, of course. So he morphed into his cat form and started a fight with the thugs. Why did he morph? So people wouldn't see what his human form looked like and link him directly to me. Some cops went to the crime scene. They found some eyewitnesses to testify and they managed to find the thugs. Are they fans of yours? No, it's even worse. They work for Mr. Lester. What? Oh boy. The reason why it didn't take long for the cops to find them was because they were already under arrest. Because the party went too far last night. Whoa. How did it all connect up? They're Mr. Lester's bodyguards. They were chilling after the show, having a pre-party before the big one. And you know about guys and locker room talk, right? Yeah. Well, that's what they were doing. And that was the topic of discussion. Ugh. So, there's that. Sorry to hear that. And you were right about his party. I'm glad I wasn't there. Once again, I owe Dad for... Hey, it's okay. The most important thing right now is that you're safe. 
and your dad made it through. I should have listened to him. He might be out of touch, but he's still way more experienced than me. And he's my father. I wish mum was here. She'd know what to do. She'd know what to say to dad when he's recovered. You know what? I'm sure you'll know what to do. You're an adult, remember? But I don't know. All I know is I have to be there for him when... That's it. That's all you have to do. It might be weird to hear about something coming from Freya, but she is right. Be there when you need you, Rachel. And whenever you need a breath of fresh air, you can come here and relax for a while. Guys, thank you. I've had enough fresh air for one day. I'll go back to the hospital now. Thank you for the update, Miss Rachel. I wish your father a speedy recovery. Thank you, Lulu. Oh, I'm so glad he's going to be okay. Man, what a weekend. Pretty crazy, I know. Anyway, I've got to continue my patrol. It's been a pretty weird weekend. But overall, things are still safe around here. But even with that, never let your guard down, okay? No problem, officer. Thank you for checking up on us, Officer Georgie. Okay then, see you. Just me and Freya once again. Are you going to leave as well, Freya? I don't think so. I've had enough rest. I have stories to write. You're not tired? Definitely not. In fact, I think I can get it done today. Hmm. Alright. I won't bother you then. Oh, you're never a bother. Besides, this whole book project would never have existed about this place. And you. So, thank you. The pleasure was mine. Now, I'm sure you shouldn't spend any more time on chit-chat. You've got a book to finish. <laughs> no problem, boss. Alright, we're on to the next day. Two weeks later. <gasps> okay, so she's probably definitely finished her book now. Here's a copy of the Evening Whispers today. More women have spoken out and claimed Morris Lester lied. Initial reports indicate possible peace outbreak at Couchella. Couchella Festival proves to be a major boost for Seattle tourism. Okay, so some terrible stuff as always in the newspaper, but interesting nonetheless. <laughs> okay, so let's get into, I think this is the final day in the game, so let's go. Ah, oh, hello. You're finally here. Hey all. Hey yo. Hi Freya. Ah, oh, someone's feeling happy today. Of course. Did they? They approved it. We're so happy for you. Congrats. Oh my. Do you know how happy I am? Judging from your expression, I'd say somewhere between ecstatically and rapturously. You're goddamn right. Oh my god. Oh my god. How did they react to the draft? Surprisingly, they liked it. That's amazing. I know, right? I can't believe it either. They told me if the book sells well, they'll definitely sign me up for a second book. I'm so happy for you. Anyway, whatever happens with the book now, I can take things a little slower. Because they gave me a year to finish it, with a feedback session every month. That sounds professional enough. Of course, they are the biggest publisher around. Enough about me. How's the coffee shop been doing? It's been great. We've had a lot of new customers lately. And some old timers, of course. I heard Hyde's back from his trip to Korea. Yeah, he brought us some gifts back. He didn't get any for me? I'm not sure. But he did say he always gives gifts directly. Gift giving the old fashioned way, huh? How about you? Things are great. The last time I saw you was before your mini break. Yes, we decided to go to Couchella. Wow, that event was a mess. <laughs> yeah, three hours at the festival was enough for us. So where did you go after that? We ended up in Port Townsend. How was it? I enjoyed it. Never knew a historical trip could be fun. Oh yeah, I saw your new profile picture, Aqua. You both look so cute. Oh man. <gasps> what profile picture? Let me see. I have to see. I have to see. Who was that? <laughs> oh, I didn't realise I had Neil in my Tomodachi app. <gasps> ah, look at them. They are so cute. A mermaid from Atlantis and a friendly introvert. Wow, everyone's profile is so cool. <laughs> Thanks. Was that taken during your vacation? No, it was at Max. They had a Japanese style photo booth there, so I forced her to take a picture together. You were at Max too, Myrtle? Yeah, I helped her out a bit with the booth. Thank you. You don't have to keep thanking me. By the way, have any of you heard from Neil? No, not me. They did send two postcards to the coffee shop. Really? Yeah, one's from Couchella. That's not even far away. Why send a postcard? Hard to tell with them. What about the second one? It's from New York. What? What are they doing in New York? Beats me. Working on their mission, maybe? <laughs> yeah, probably. They'd stand more of a chance there. Anyway, guys, we're leaving for the night. Aw, come on. So soon? We were here for hours before you arrived. And we need to work tomorrow. Fair enough. Take care on your way then. Good luck with the novel. Thanks. See you, Lulu. See you around. I'm so happy those two had fun together. They look happier than when I first met them. It's not easy to find someone you can be comfortable with. Such a short amount of time. Yeah. Anyway, sorry if it seems like I'm ignoring you, Baileys. No worries. I don't feel ignored at all. Are you by yourself tonight? No, I'm waiting for Lua. She has some work to do. This late at night? Yeah. She's been doing overtime for the past few days. How are the two of you doing? Things have been great. In fact, after 10 years together, we're finally moving in together next month. 
Wait, you're telling me these two didn't even live together? What? This whole time I imagined they lived together. Dude, you took it a bit too slow, don't you think? <laughs> After 10 years? Wow. Wow, congrats. But I thought Lua lived with her flatmate. Oh yeah! How did I forget that? Because I thought her flatmate was, um, Aqua or Myrtle, right? We're moving to a new place. She got promoted recently, and her company's providing her with an apartment. Wow, she must be a really big deal in her office. Well, she definitely earns more than me. That's not saying much, Baileys. You shouldn't say that to a fellow freelancer. Oh, here she comes. Baileys, I'm so sorry. I didn't expect it to take so long. I thought we'd be done by... It's alright. Freya and Lulu have been keeping me company anyway. Oh, hey Freya. And Lulu. Sorry for barging in without saying hi. How's it going? I would say things are great. But not as great as you two lovebirds. You told her already? Only about the moving in part. <laughs> as you've heard, we're going to move in together next month. Where is it? Not far. I mean, the company provided the place. So they want to cut my commuting costs as much as possible. That's thoughtful of them. It means they don't need to reimburse my taxi fees when I'm working overtime. Oh yeah, that too. It also means we get to visit this place more often. That's a good point. We owe this coffee shop a lot anyway. Don't mention it. I have a question for both of you. Go on. The last time we met, I believe you were going to introduce Baileys to your parents. How did it go? Man. Her father didn't kill me at least. Well, at least Papa let you eat lunch with us. That's rare, you know. I know. And at least I didn't say no. Which means a lot, I guess. It was a good start. It was definitely a good start. Anyway, Baileys. We need to go now, or we'll miss the intro again. You folks going somewhere? Yeah, we're going to watch the midnight screening of Full Metal Conflict. I didn't take you for someone who likes FMC, Lua. I don't, but this guy loves it. Hey, you always enjoyed watching me play that game. I enjoyed watching you, not the game. Too bad I didn't introduce you to Myrtle just now, Baileys. She worked on the game. Really? Oh well, I'll be visiting this place more often. I'll probably meet her again one of these days. You probably will. Now go, you lovebirds. You don't want to miss the movie. Alright, catch up with you later, Freya. Bye, Lulu. Enjoy the movie! Aw, oh, I'm so happy those two are doing well. Everyone's so happy now. There they go. I'm so happy for them. Me too. they still got a long way to go. And probably a lot of obstacles in their path. But they're moving forward. Yes. How will you write their story? As it is. It's beautiful enough. And it has enough drama. That's one way to put it. Anyway, what's that look for? You haven't told me about any of our other friends here. How are they doing? You only skipped coming for 10 days. What do you expect? Come on, they played an important part in my writing process, remember? Well, there are some updates about the regulars. Tell me, tell me! Where should we start? Lua visits this place more often now that they live nearby. The last time they came, they were talking about catering and venues. Oh my goodness, that means they're getting married! I'm so happy for them! Hyde returned from his trip to Korea and brought gifts. Some are more special than others. He said he's considering moving back to Seattle, if his agency allows it. My goodness, him buying handcuffs? That was actually a conversation they had in the game that I had to cut out of the video. Aqua continues her work with the university. She's still working on small indie games. The difference is, she's not alone now. Oh my goodness, my heart. That makes me feel so warm inside. Neil? The only news about their superhero breeding mission are the two postcards they sent me. Rachel is back at the recording studio, preparing for her first solo album. She found a new manager, someone who made the news as a legend coming back to the industry. Oh, I'm so happy for them! Yay! And finally, Freya. She finished her book, gets published, and has some signing sessions. It was a massive success, sold out even after the fourth printings, and might be adapted to a movie. She's working on her second novel. My goodness, that's amazing! Oh, that was so lovely! What a wonderful game! I'm so happy everyone's story ended up ending so lovely. It was so lovely watching all these characters' stories develop and all the relationships grow. I really loved all of these characters so much. I didn't realise the last time we saw Gala and Hyde was actually going to be the last time we see them in the game, which is sad. But this isn't the end. There is a new Coffee Talk game that's come out recently, so if you'd like to see some of these characters again or just experience working in the coffee shop and chatting to more characters, you can definitely go buy that. I don't have any plans right now to play the second game on the channel, but I really hope you enjoyed exploring this one with me. This is one of the only games on my channel that I've played all the way through other than a few short games like a short hike for example. So I really hope 
those of you who watched this all the way through enjoyed it these videos will stay up on my channel for a long time so maybe some of you are here watching this years later after i uploaded it to those of you thank you so much for checking in with these videos and watching all of them it means so much to me this game was really relaxing and fun i just had so much fun playing this it was really nice and lovely to record to sit down with a cup of coffee and just listen to these characters talk and relationships grow it's just super cozy so i hope you guys enjoyed this before i go for today i do just want to say an extra special thank Thank you to my wonderful Patreon supporters for supporting me this month. Without your guys' support, I couldn't play new games like this on the channel, so I really, really do appreciate it. And to the rest of you, thank you all so much for joining me for this wonderful journey in Coffee Talk. If you enjoyed this series, please do consider leaving a like and subscribing, because it really helps me out. Oh my goodness! Who is this? They just interrupted my outro. Okay, welcome. Hello, Lulu. Good evening, sir. Um, have we met before? I'm sure this is your first time here. Of course I've been here. In fact, I've worked here before. What? Wait. No way. Is that really you? It's been a while. You've changed. A bit too much. I've learned a lot about how to live with your people since then. I assume it was a success then. Multiple successes. <laughs> Neil, oh my goodness. This is what he looks like? Wow. What's with the new look then? Just trying to blend in. It seems like an earthling immigration agency is after me. Now that you mention it, somebody did visit this place looking for you. When was it? Not so long after your second visit here. Was he a bald guy in a suit? Yes. That FIRE agent. You've seen him? Yes. Thankfully, I've changed my appearance since then. By the way, you can drop the act in front of me. So, you finally noticed. To think that such power can be born from our kind. You're good of your act, though. Wait. What? Huh? Is my character an alien? It took a few tries, but there are some timelines where I where I forget to pretend that I don't have some knowledge of certain stuff. What? Huh? I'm so confused. <laughs> Interesting. Now I'm curious to know about those mistakes. Well, it happened a few times. First, when Freya told me about her meeting in the elevator. Then, it was the first time Rachel visited this place. And the last one involved you on your second visit. Huh? Oh, and there was another one right after Freya got her draft approved. Can you show it to me? Assuming you know how I communicate with my kind. Never tried it, but let's see. You've beaten the main story of the game, but you haven't seen everything yet. What? <laughs> I'm so confused by that ending. I'm a time traveler? Or I'm an alien? I'm so confused. Um, that came out of nowhere. But that was interesting. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me know if you want to see me play more. Um, this series did lose a lot of attraction as it went on, obviously, because it was like six episodes long. Obviously, it's not the most exciting gameplay in the world, but it is very cozy and relaxing, and I did really enjoy it. If you want to see me play it through again and discover these secrets, or you want to see me play the new Coffee Talk game, please let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Please remember to take care of yourself. I hope you're having a super lovely day. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all in my next video. Bye! Look at your eyes.